All right, we've got a triple threat match between Libra Wolf, Water Fox, and Florp. Three of the best Firefox clones or forks. And in this one, we're going to be looking at each browser, their features, and compare to see which is the best. First up, we're going to be looking at Water Fox. If you're bored with Firefox or just want something a little more from your browsing experience, but you don't want to overdo it, Water Fox is a good choice. It's essentially Firefox with a lot of quality of life and design options. Change the style of tabs. Water Fox has additional tab options for tree style tabs. This makes it easier to keep track of the sites that you're on. Water Fox removes the integrated pocket feed. So you're left with the bare bones new tab page with just wallpaper and the shortcuts. I like how you can customize the navigation bar, turn on and off icons, enable or disable animations. In my favorite, you can blur tabs to easily identify your current tab, along with auto hiding tabs and auto hiding the sidebar. And one small thing, but one that I really appreciate is the little restart button that they added to the menu at the bottom, allowing you to quickly restart the browser. Waterfox uses start page by default for search, but all other searches are present. And as per usual, you can add custom ones. Waterfox also has their own privacy focused search similar to KG or Kaiji, however you say it. However, it is paid and there are no free options. I've not tried this search, so I have no idea how good it is. Another feature I appreciate is the ability to open private tabs in a separate tab as opposed to a separate window. Very convenient. Love that. And lastly, under privacy and security, Waterfox comes with an additional DNS protection, Ultra, which uses oblivious HTTP for better encrypted browsing. Beyond that, it's the standard affair here with Waterfox. And it's one of the browsers you're going to see online a lot that people recommend because it just offers a little bit more without all the unnecessary stuff. Next up is LibreWolf. This is absolutely one of the cleanest forks of Firefox. And I mean, upon opening it up, you're hit with a super bare bones version of Firefox. Just like with Waterfox, there is no news feed on the new tab pages. And LibreWolf is completely stripped of Mozilla telemetry and tracking. LibreWolf doesn't offer a ton of UI options like Waterfox does which may or may not be a good thing, depending on what you're looking for from your browser. As far as search, you're going to start with DuckDuckGo, but obviously you can change this. There is no option for Google by default unless you add it manually. LibreWolf's claim to fame is its privacy and security features, which comes out of the box already set to strict. Not only is it set to strict, but there's no way to lower it from the UI. Because of this, some sites may break. Cookies and history are deleted per session. So when you close the browser and open it back up again, everything will be deleted. This is on by default. You can't turn it off. In the LibreWolf specific settings, there are additional security and privacy options like enabling resist fingerprinting. This is a feature that stops websites from profiling you based on your resolution, your graphics, and all sorts of stuff. Ublock Origin comes pre-installed with LibreWolf, so you're going to have content blocking, ad blocking, protecting you from malicious content and files and ads and all that. This is the full version of Ublock Origin, so you get all the filtering, all the settings, all the advanced features, everything. Not like the nerfed version on Chrome. There are a handful of QOL options in LibreWolf, like allowing custom CSS. There are some quick links to opening up the about config and the profiles folder. Beyond that, LibreWolf doesn't offer much else and I don't think it needs to. Next up is Florp. Florp is just amazing. Focuses on speed, security and features. And it has a lot of features. But the best part is it's not bloat. One of the first things you will notice with Florp is just how fast it is. Every time I switch to it again, I'm just blown away. Tabs can be completely customized and it's even better than the default in the regular version of Firefox because you can not only set custom backgrounds, but set a folder of images 
to be your backgrounds and it'll pick a random picture every time you open up a new tab page. That's pretty cool. Also supports animated GIFs. You've got vertical tabs, there's multi tabs, and even more, you can move the tab page to the bottom of the browser along with the navigation bar. You can adjust the height and width of the tabs. Florp uses Google search by default with options for Bing and DuckDuckGo. Florp has the same privacy and security features as regular Firefox, with everything set to standard. Florp has many more features that I've covered in previous videos, so check those out if you want to know more. Let's compare these three browsers. Starting with OS support, all three, LibreWolf, Waterfox, and Florp, support Windows, Mac, and Linux. As far as speed and performance, Florp is going to be the faster of the three browsers with Waterfox and LibreWolf having no real differences as far as performance between the two of them, nor are they noticeably faster than Firefox proper, at least not to me. Sites may be a little faster in LibreWolf depending on the site thanks to the privacy and blocking, but again, that can also break sites. So yeah. Waterfox and Florp both have profile managers. They both use the same Firefox profile manager although Florp customizes the look of theirs. All three browsers support Firefox or Mozilla Sync, but this feature is disabled by default in LibreWolf. All three browsers support Firefox-based extensions and themes with no issues, and all the themes do support the custom tabs found in Waterfox and Florp. If privacy and security is your main focus, you're gonna want LibreWolf. Waterfox would be my second choice for privacy, and Florp would be last since it just has pretty much the same security as Firefox, which is undoubtedly good. As far as AI features, Florp comes with the little AI side panel where you can choose between Gemini, Copilot, ChatGPT, and so on. The AI features are disabled in Waterfox and LibreWolf by default. They can be enabled, however, by going to About Config and enabling all the email features. Waterfox has a mobile app for Android, but LibreWolf and Florp does not. I actually recommend IronFox for mobile. It is a clean fork of Firefox with stronger security and free of Mozilla's bloat. It's essentially LibreWolf, but for Android. And I think I've done a video on that recently. So who's the winner in this triple threat bout? For me personally, the winner is going to be Florp. It strikes a good balance of speed, performance, and I like the security that already comes in Firefox. So for me, it offers so much more, but doesn't overdo it, especially with the release of Florp 12, which has been a complete overhaul and just a really good upgrade to the browser. It will definitely feel like an upgrade if you've been using regular Firefox forever. And if you've been using Chrome all your life, it's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air. Obviously, LibreWolf is going to be better if you care more about privacy and security. Regardless of what you choose, all three browsers are becoming better and better options over regular old Firefox.